What's up everyone, Tyler Medeiros here and welcome to Tyler Medeiros TV. For those of you who are not subscribed, you can subscribe down below so you don't miss a video and for those of you that are, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be getting into something really interesting. But before we do, if you're not following me on my social medias like Instagram and Twitter, you can go ahead and do that now. You can follow me on Instagram at the real Tyler Medeiros and on Twitter at Tyler Medeiros. But yes, guys, like I said, in today's video, we're going to be getting into something really interesting. And we're going to be talking about the app Randonautica. Now, for those of you that may not know what this app is and what it does, let me give you a little bit of a backstory. Randonautica is an app and was launched in 2020 on February 22nd by a man named Joshua Langfelder. The app's purpose is to generate random coordinates in your local area, causing you to explore places you may have never thought you would go to. And while exploring these places, many have found really interesting and disturbing things. You choose from three categories and then the app gives you your random coordinates based on what you choose and your intent. You can choose between an attractor, a void, or an anomaly. But what's interesting about this app is you set your intent in your mind and many have found exactly what they intended. It was in 2019 when CEO Joshua Langfelder came across a bot called Fatum Project. Theories of the Fatum Project are that random exploration could possibly allow people to break free from their predetermined realities and how someone's mind can influence their outcome. One of the most well-known finds from the app took place in Seattle when a group of people that were heading to the beach while using the app came across a black suitcase, which later was discovered to be human remains. Now, over the past few days, I've been really intrigued with this app. I have not played it, but I am really encouraged to play it. But I do not recommend that anyone plays it. And if you do play it, definitely don't go alone. Now, we're going to be getting into five videos of people going randonauting. But I want to know what you guys think of these clips and what you think about what these people found. Does this app really have the power to manipulate reality? I'll let you be the judge. This first clip that we're going to be looking at, this group of people set their intent in their mind as friend. And what happens in this clip, I can't really explain. The app first brings the group of people to an abandoned factory and as they wander around exploring this factory, they come across something really strange. You can see graffiti on the walls around them and an image of a girl. And what's really freaky about this, it's an image of one of their friends that is with them. Now I want to know what you guys think of that clip down below in the comments. Do you guys actually think that this app is capable of doing something like this? Now this next clip that we're going to be getting into seems like it's something straight out of a horror movie. This group of people decided to use the Randonautica app and it led them to an abandoned boarding school. Which when I saw this, I had chills down my spine. But I want to know what you guys think. You can see a bunch of abandoned buildings which look like they're straight out of a scary movie. Now I want to know what you guys think of that clip down below in the comments and if you guys would dare 
to enter that fence and explore. This next clip that you're about to see is really out of the ordinary, and I have no idea what to think about it. So I wanna know what you guys think. This group of people were exploring a park, and what they came across in this park will definitely send chills down your spine. The group comes across some wooden coffins and what seems to be a medieval torture table. One of the people actually opens up one of the coffins to notice that it has some sort of spikes inside of it. Now I want to know what you guys think of that clip, and would you be brave enough to open up that coffin? This last video that we're going to be getting into, the person had to walk an hour and a half to his coordinates, and it led him to a dead end. As the person got closer to the dead end, they noticed a path off to the right, and decided to follow it. Moments later, he will come to regret his decision. As he goes through the path, he comes across an abandoned field. And as he continues to explore, he comes across an area filled with tents and angry people that did not want him there. He then quickly turns around and leaves the area, shaken up from his encounter. But I wanna know what you guys think of these clips down below in the comments. Do you guys actually think that this app has the power to manipulate reality and know exactly what your intent is? I'm gonna go ahead and close out today's video here. If you guys enjoyed it and want a few more videos like this, please give it a nice thumbs up and let me know down below in the comments. I find these videos really interesting. So if you guys would like to see some more, please let me know. But I want to thank you guys so much for all the love and support that you guys continuously give me. It means the world to me, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.